good evening and welcome to my channel this is himanshu sharma again so uh, today's topic uh, would be like we would be trying to cover up what are the different types of joins that we can implement in talent using the team app component so here are a few examples of it and this is like one of uh, the questions that uh, people encounter in their interviews so uh, the data set over here is kind of pretty simple. We've got ministers, uh, different ministers like the head of the nations, one, two, three, four, four, and five. Uh, and these are their names, Narendra Ji, Donald, Imran, Imran, and Vladimir. So the usual suspect in the uh, list is Imran. So there are a couple of records for Imran out here. and. Uh, there are countries tagged to all these ministers. So all these are the head of the states and they come in from different countries. Uh, so one, two, three, four, four. And then for Russia, there's no key out here. So this is the data set on to which we would be performing an inner join. So I'll, I'll just quickly run through the settings that I've made in the team app and uh, we'll, we'll just have a look at the output data. So these are my two flows, uh, the uh, head of the state and their name and their ID comes in like my main table and this is my lookup table uh, wherein I've got the ID and the country and in the end I'm trying to populate the ID, the name and the country. So over here my join model is my inner join, uh, I'll keep it the default match model, unique matches see apply ok and then i just run the job so there we go uh, this is the data set that comes in from uh, joining the two tables as an inner join so for record number five we had no matching key and hence no, no matching key in the lookup table and hence there's no data for that row so there's no record number five out here and once we have a look at this we've got record number five so the basic idea is all the keys from this table are getting matched with this table and then the output is getting thrown so there's another uh, problem that comes out uh, while you know we try to do a join so that's like a Cartesian product uh, comes out Cartesian product is basically uh, a product of the number of rows in the one table multiplied with the number of rows with the other table so that is basically uh, not required in most of the cases but there can be scenarios where you need uh, some sort of a join so in that case, I'll just remove this joining condition and I do an apply OK. Irrespective of whatever is there in my uh, match model and my lookup model. So this is the example of Cartesian product. So the same data set we are trying to run through. And I'll just do an F6. Uh, that's the shortcut for running the talent job. And ideally, we should get like 36 rows. Uh, in the output so this is like 6 into 6 36 so each record from my main table is getting matched with the uh, record in the lookup table so Narendra India China US Narendra Pakistan Narendra Russia and uh, and notice here that Russia has got no key out there but still in the Cartesian product this record gets joined with uh, that record as well so irrespective of the key uh, all the records get multiplied so basic technique is like multiply the number of rows from the main table with the corresponding lookup table I'll just deactivate this job the other example is the left outer join so in this uh, the trick is like all the rows from the left table would come in uh, including Vladimir if, if you see an example of the inner join there was no Vladimir record in the output uh, and in this example, uh, the left outer join, the Vladimir record should come out because we, we are doing a left outer join. So all the rows from the left table would be returned irrespective of the keys present in the main table, uh, in the lookup table, sorry. So for Vladimir, there is no key and hence there is a null. 
so this is how you know the left outer join works so the other question uh, many interview uh, that I faced people do tend to ask how do you do a left outer join because once I open a team app out here also there are only two options so how do I go about that so I just activate this thing and if you notice uh, the components are kept in the same order ministers and countries but the flow of it has changed now countries become the main flow and ministers become the lookup flow so with this considering uh, this as countries as my right data set so all the rows from countries data set should come in including Russia although there is no matching key over there in the main table so I'll just run this so Russia has come up out here but Vladimir is not present because for Vladimir uh, there is no matching record Vladimir comes in from my left table and I'm interested in getting the records from my right table so this is how the data set looks like so just a quick recap we, we've done an inner join inner join would return all the matching rows only the matching rows from both the tables we, we've seen a Cartesian product in which there is a multiplication of records happening we've seen a left out to join example and then we've seen a right out to join example uh, the difference between these two is like we've got only one option that's our left out to join but we've just shifted the flow uh, the table which was like my lookup table becomes my main table that's how I perform a right out to join in talent so this is about the joining models uh, in tmap next time we'll, we'll come up uh, with something uh, that's the match model in tmap until then thank you have a good day bye bye